Hello, this is the Bostonian Critic, and when, uh, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, that's coming up. All about Alright, so basically, Happy Holidays, everybody. And today is December 12th, 2019, and what I want to do right now, oh, is... Oh, so here's, here's the reason why I'm going to be making this video right now. So, since today is December 12th, oh, and since the Angry Video Game Nerd did, like, the 12th... Of, there's a Christmas special where he reviews those uh, crappy video games. I'm going to re review Christmas movies for 12 days. Uh, and I'm sure other people on YouTube have, have uh, done this. Uh, like review like Christmas movies for 12 days or something. Or done like 30 days of Christmas. So, uh, so for the first time I just want to review like 12 of Christmas movies or something. Or specials. Of that have come out. Some of them will be good, some of them will be great. I one of them will be my most favorite well, two of them will be my my, my most favorite ones, and on two of them are my like worst enemies. Or so Christmas movies. One of them is basically gonna be one of the worst movies I've ever looked at. Right, so Oh and on, on December twenty second and twenty third oh, which will be the first and second night of Hanukkah, I'm gonna review two Hanukkah movies. Please, and on, um, I won't reveal what they are, but, you know what, why not? I, I'm a nice guy anyway, so, well, I like the holiday spirits anyway. I, I'm a hol I, mean, I love the holidays. Oh, then, oh, why not just review something nice, why not just review something for, for the Jewish people as well? Oh, so, oh, uh, what do you call it, so... With that said, I'm going to be calling this the 12 Days of the Bost of Bostonian Xmas. Or, well, I know, I'm starting to sound like Futurama for... <coughs> I'm starting to sound like Futurama there. The Bos 12 Days of Bostonian Christmas. Right, so, with that said, let's start off with the Christmas classic from Disney, The Santa Claus, starring Tim Allen from the Toy Story films. And, of course, Home Improvement. But, um... So, I have seen this movie when I was a kid... I like, well, I didn't see this movie in, in theaters. I think this film came out the same year when I was born. The same year as the, uh, The Lion King, basically. Okay, so, the story is about, about Tim Allen. I'm playing as a character called Scott Calvin. And, and uh, he's a, he's a business guy and he, he works a lot. And, on the, uh, <clears throat> wants to spend, he wants to spend Christmas with his son, Charlie, played by Eric Lloyd from Dustin Checks In. Uh, with, uh, so um, um. So he's trying to spend the holidays with his son, um. But he accidentally burns a turkey, but brings his son to Denny's, and then when I uh, read the book, and then he hears, and then uh, Charlie hears uh, uh, someone on the roof, and then Tim out. Uh, and then uh, sorry, Scott uh, goes outside and sees the guy. Oh yeah, and it was Santa Claus, and he falls off the roof. <coughs> oh, and then basically he dies. So, Scott Calvin does put on the suit, and then on him and Charlie, I, I uh, climb on the clatter, or a uh, clatter, is it? I, I can't believe All right, well, it's a ladder. Or right, and then, um, <clears throat> uh, they, go, they go on the sleigh, and then um, we see some, uh, I'm actually have, I have to admit, some pretty awkwardly bad CG effects. Throughout the entire film, I'm not kidding. I don't think the effects are that are very are very good. Well, particularly the CG effects in this movie, I don't think they're very good. Luckily, in the other films, they get a lot better. So um, so we do get some pretty funny scenes with Scott Calvin being in the, uh, being in a Santa Claus for the first time, on like delivering presents and stuff. There's a few funny gags and stuff. Oh, but then they do make it to the North Pole. Oh, and then they do come across the uh the head elf, oh known as Bernard, who you who was played by the guy from uh Adam's Family Values, who was who played as um Wednesday's love interest. So um. So he basically tells her that he's gonna be Santa Claus. Then one day, and then later on, uh Scott and Charlie are back home, and then when um. Uh, Charlie takes it too seriously that he's gonna be Santa that uh, his father is Santa Claus and then when um uh, then a bunch of other stuff go and then um 
that kind of cliche that they don't believe him and stuff. Well, but they think it's crazy and stuff. Oh, which I under I do actually do understand on why why they do that. It's supposed to be part of the story. Oh yeah, and stuff. And why not? It does create some good jokes, and it does good create a good story and a good setup. Oh, I can't say this movie is absolutely hilarious, but oh, but what does work is the connections with the characters. Honestly, and the acting for the most part is really good. Tim Allen is really good as Santa Claus. All this stuff, I really like him. Um, with uh, with Charlie, and I do really want him to be with him. Um, Eric Lloyd, Lloyd as a young I mean, Eric Lloyd in this movie, well, is a, is is annoying at times, but uh, you do get used to it, and he is pretty, and and honestly, he is pretty likable, and you do want him to be with his father. All right, there is uh the ending scene where he's like hugging his father. He's like gonna miss, <coughs> sorry, and he's gonna miss him. Um, but, oh, I really did get. I actually got me teary eyed because I actually recently watched this on the Disney Plus with my family. Oh, and then um, uh, uh, I just haven't seen this movie in years since or uh, since the other day. Oh, and that scene just got me teary eyed. It was just so sad. Um. The North Pole does look really good for the first time. I like the uh the sets. Oh, I think the uh the I like how I like the idea that the elves are little kids and stuff. Oh, I like Bernard. I like Charlie's uh uh stepfather who was basically a psychiatrist. I like uh oh, the mother character, or is all right. Uh, Peter Boyle is in this boy, but she's in all the other Santa Claus boys. But in the other two films, he's. Oh, it's father time. So, oh, um, so, it is very nice and Christmassy, and, and it is definitely a film for you to check out, or if you haven't seen it yet. If you have Disney+, Plus or if you have it anywhere in your house, I say go ahead and check, I say give it a watch. The sequel, on the other hand, Santa Claus 2, we'll get to that awesomeness tomorrow. So for now, um, if you have seen the movie, what did you think? Just comment below, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to share the video as well. And I'm the Boss Joiner Critic, and I will see you later. Take care.